Well, for some insight into what we've done well and where we've fallen short and what the global Twitter intelligentsia are saying about us, please welcome once more Bill Corbett and Kevin Murphy. Hi, everybody. Good evening, friends. We, we've been through a lot together tonight, guys. Yeah. Um, well, uh, you guys, this is what we do at, at uh, the intermission of every one of these shows. How are we doing? We're doing wonderful. You know what? Um, in the last year, I've, I've been a fan of Neil's for, for years, of course. Uh, in the last year, we've gotten to know him. Last couple of years, he's a delightful, sweet, generous man. And yet, I'm kind of, I'm kind of scared to say anything bad about him, because he'll put a hex on me. Sure. I, I, I'm still not confident that he won't. So I'm going to let Kevin do that. <laughs> uh, wait, so hold on. Josh sings a song called The Curse, but yet you fear Neil. Look at Josh's face. Look yeah. at how sweet he is. Sweet, sweet guy. I can't, I can't tell you how many... He's wearing a vest. I can't tell you how many tweets yeah. said, Angel... Oh, we, hang on a second. And it's Angel scary because he's 300 heaven. years old. I know. <laughs> um, Kevin, you want to read a couple of things? Oh, from... well, um, there were several people who were a little bit concerned at the beginning of the show because they'd never been to a radio show where they got their crotches sniffed by white dogs. Yeah. Um, I thought that was a regular thing on Prairie Home Companion. No. Yeah. <laughs> it, it happens more on Car Talk, I think yeah. you're right. But, it happens uh, a lot on Car Talk. <laughs> That's right. Uh, there was one uh, person who said that they thought John Clarkson would... Uh, actually, a few people said he'd be a great host for Wits. Oh, he yeah. would be. So watch out, John Moe. Well, yeah. You ought to try that. Um, there's one I really liked, one comment. Hearing about Wits makes me want to love in Minnesota. Oh. I, I assume that was a typo, but Mike Gato, wherever you are, come and love us. <laughs> love us, <Please>. Mike. <laughs> now we can move to New York and be gay married together. Yeah, <laughs> as of about five minutes ago. I'll have to talk to Jane about that first, though. Okay. Um, a lot of comments about your beard, Neil. How is it, how is it sitting on you? Is it feeling good? Um, it, 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 it's scared because it knows it doesn't have much longer to live. It's sort of, All right. it's holding on. It's going, no, keep me another day. <laughs> I am a good beard. That seems like the beginning like of a story. <laughs> um, you know, for that imagination problem you have? Yeah. That might yeah. be a good start. See, this is how you write stories, Neil. Watch and now learn. you tell me. Watch Listen and, and learn. learn. That's Englishman. right. I do uh, have to say there was a, a, um, a fellow, uh, Jeff Cessna, said his 14-year-old is loving the show tonight uh, because Cthulhu closed the deal for him. Oh, <laughs> sure. Um, Cthulhu does that. Animated meat piles. I'm uh -huh. just throwing that out there as a phrase. If you ever, you know, start an indie band, John. Okay. I think you have your name. Animated Meat right. Piles. Uh, some people were confused whether you said Meat Piles or Meat Pies, and they all seem to be hungry. Oh. Right. <laughs> so I don't know what you make of that. They must be really hungry if an animated meat pie sounds delicious. <laughs> um, <laughs> Hello, John. I'm your meat pie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to dance for you. Tuck right into me, John. <laughs> Um, and I, I just, I, I raised this alarm last time, John. The size of the, the music contingent continues to grow. It, it is you're, you're getting nudged off the stage, so. Yeah, actually, next season, I think I'm actually going to be sitting in the second balcony. <laughs> right. <laughs> and it's just going to be. Yeah, but that, that, you have to understand, that actually was my personal brass band. It wasn't oh, the Wits. Oh, oh, oh. They, yeah. they okay. follow me yes. everywhere and do, you know. I should have known. Appropriate <laughs> brassy noises in the background. I'm sure they'd love that. <laughs> I'm jealous. I gotta say, but John yeah, Munson. You have for, a ukulele orchestra. I've seen them follow it's, you around. It's true. John Munson, think hundred piece gamelan orchestra next year this time. I yeah. think there's one over at the Schubert Club. I'll bring him down. <laughs> well, uh, Bill and Kevin, thanks for the feedback, and as always, we'll just try to do better next time. Thanks for entertaining Get us. It's that, really please. fun. Yes. Bill Corbett and Kevin Murphy, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for putting up with us. <laughs> <laughs>